Guinness Pro 12 leaders Leinster come to the Liberty Stadium on Saturday afternoon as the Ospreys resume the race for the playoffs. Join us now as we look ahead to the game with Kieran Fonatier and Sam Underhill. Sam, we're back here at the Principality Stadium just 48 hours after the disappointment of Sunday in Stade Francais. So it's probably the best place to start. Talk us through the weekend and perhaps what the mood was after the game and where the game was won and lost. Yeah, uh, you know, I think we're bitterly disappointed uh, with how the weekend went, as you know, any side would be. Um, I think what's probably disappointing for us is that we put in a lot of good work out there and I think a lot of chances that went missing on the pitch. Um, so yeah, so we're pretty disappointed with how it went. What can you put in? You've had to put your finger on something. Is there anything you can actually quantify where, where it went wrong? I mean, yeah, if you look at the stat sheet, um, we, we actually did, we ended up doing pretty well uh, statistically on, on paper. Um, I think it was a bit of accuracy uh, and being a bit more clinical that would have helped us out. And I think that's where we've, we've got the first 90%. It's just that last sort of 10% of, of accuracy uh, that we need. So, I mean, that's the promising side of things, is that I think the things we need to improve are all in our control. Um, so, you know, we're focused on being a bit more accurate, a bit more clinical on the weekend. Talk about the weekend, we've got a couple of huge games coming up now, a run of big, big games in the Pro 12. Starting with Leinster at the Liberty Stadium on Saturday. Doesn't get much tougher than that, does it? No, uh, and I think we've had a bit, obviously had a bit of a blip in our season uh, the last couple of weeks, and I think it'll be a bit of a test of character to uh, to put that right. Um, and you know, it's good that we've got some strong, hopefully a strong Leinster side coming down. Uh, it'll be a good test of where we're at. That's one of those things, I suppose. It's good that we're in the top four, so it's ours to hold on to. And ours to lose that position in the playoffs. You know, we're not playing catch up. We're in control of our own destiny. If we do what we've got to do. Yeah, I think we put ourselves in a pretty good position this season, uh, and I think you know we've just got to build on what we've already done uh, and capitalise on the fact that we have put ourselves in a top four position, and uh, you know not let the foot off, not let our foot off now, uh, and actually keep trying to improve so we actually end up peaking towards the tail end of the season rather than you know, now. And it's important we had a decent crowd here on Sunday night, and we want to see them back at the Liberty because they can make a big difference when we play Leinster and we play Ulster in a few weeks' time as well. Yeah, the crowd's huge. You know, it's, the, it's the 16th man, I think, at the Liberty especially. It's a good vocal crowd, uh, and they certainly, you know, as players, it makes a big difference to us. I suppose we may as well touch on why we are here. Still strange with 10 days, 11 days to go until we're back here. But Judgment Day comes next week as well. You played last year, you had the experience of the Welsh derbies in front of 65,000 people. So it's a day to get excited about even we might remember that the focus is on Leinster first. Yeah, it's a uh, you know it's a, it's a real highlight of the season. I think fans certainly get their money's worth. You got you know it's a pretty uh, it's, these games are pretty big anyway. And then you add in you know the occasion of Judgment Day and the crowd size and the excitement and the build up around the game. And it's uh, yeah it's a real highlight for players. As the race for the playoffs hots up, we've got two huge games at the Liberty Stadium this April. Ospreys v Leinster on Saturday, followed by Ospreys v Ulster on Saturday the 29th of April. Both games kick off at 3pm. Tickets for these matches are available now online and at the ticket office. So make sure you come down and cheer on the boys as we look to secure a Guinness Pro 12 semi-final. Head online to ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets now for your tickets. There's a price drop in store at the Liberty Stadium club shop now. Up to 60% off. Now is the perfect time to get all of your Ospreys merchandise. This offer is available online and in store, so head to shop.ospreysrugby.com for more information. Offer ends 13th of April. Terms and conditions apply. You run just a week ago, you'd never been to the Principality Stadium. This is your third time in a couple of weeks, and we've got Judgment Day still to come. Yeah. Last look at the last time we were here on Sunday, Star Francais. Disappointing outcome for the Ospreys, and then what was a huge game for us? Yeah, it's always uh, disappointing when you get to when you get to quarterfinals or, or any playoffs and, and and lose. But I think the intent's there from the boys. Um, you can tell we're, we're trying hard, but just didn't quite click in the weekend. But hopefully, uh, it starts clicking over the next couple of weeks. And to play on that stadium was. Yeah, dream come true. I've always sort of wanted to do it since I was a kid playing John Lumber rugby on, on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've had such a good run this season and it's sort of hit the buffers of the last two weeks. So, as you've touched on, it's important that we actually get back 
into form, into shape, or what is a huge series of games going in the end of season running? Yeah, just had a bit of a bump on the road. Um, most most teams that uh, most teams do that on the way of uh, hopefully reaching their goal. But yeah, it's a pretty important couple of games coming up, and I know. Uh, after losing games like that, you just you just want to get out there and start start playing again and and making amends, I suppose, for for what just happened. But I know the boys are chomping at the bit to get out there. When you look at Leinster at the Liberty Stadium, it's a huge test at any time, particularly on the back of a couple of losses. So it's a test of character as much as ability. Yeah, I've I haven't played them before, but from what I've seen on clips and stuff, they look, look like a pretty sharp team. Um, and look like they like to use the ball like we do a bit on, a, on attack and throw it around a wee bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into it. We're in the top four, four games left to play, so that's where you'd want to be. Yep. But we know Leinster and Judgment Day here against the Blues. Also at the Liberty Stadium, ending with the local derby away to the Scarlets. There's no margin for error if we want to stay in that top four. Yeah, well, yeah. If you say, if you said at the start of the year, uh, you know, where would you want to be sort of at this time of the year? You'd, you'd want to be where we are, sort of roundabout at the moment. Obviously, you want to be on top, but uh, you know, roundabout where we are. So, we've put ourselves in a good spot and hopefully, we can just build a bit more momentum now and, and keep it going. And you're coming to the end of your first season as an Osprey, first season in the Northern Hemisphere. What are your impressions so far? You know, what, what do you make of, of the Pro 12 and of European Challenge Cup as, as we've been involved in? Oh, yeah, the standards, standards high. It's, um, it's a bit different. Um, style of play but I've just been learning uh, learning heaps week in week out off, off players and off the coaches about our patterns and defensive systems and I don't know it's just good it's good to be a part of it and just, yeah and of course after a year long season you're probably looking forward to a summer break and come back with a good preseason on your belt for next season as well yeah yeah I think I've been going for about 16 months now so it's been a bit, it's been a bit of a bit of a long season but when you when you know you've only got six or so, six or seven, eight games left, or whatever it is, it's it's pretty easy to get up for these games now because you know there's not long left until you until you get a break. So sort of leave nothing out there now, isn't it? And if we can lift the Pro 12 trophy at the end of the season, it'll all be worth it. That'd be a pretty awesome feeling, wouldn't it? That's all for now. Don't forget the tickets for Saturday's big game are available to buy at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets and in person at the Liberty Stadium ticket office. Buy ours now and support the cause this weekend.